back to our very important question from last time. How can I avoid Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's anger after having sinned so many times? The answer is simple. Stop. Stop sinning. Stop doing anything that can lead you to commit that sin. Stop associating yourself with people who do that sin or encourage you to do it and repent. You must repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and determine that you never go back to it again. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you and help you overcome the urge to commit that sin. Sometimes people might feel like they're, they have sinned so much and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wouldn't forgive them even if they ask for forgiveness. They might think that they are they're under deserving of it or feel too ashamed to ask after all the time that they have sinned. If these thoughts occur to you, be certain that they came from the shaitan. He is trying to get you to give up and lose the hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and lose the hope in the mercy and the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is willing to forgive you no matter how many times you commit the sin. As long as you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness and truly regret that you have done Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's beautiful reassuring hadith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says if someone commits a sin then says oh my lord I have sinned please forgive me and his lord says my slave has known that he has a lord who forgives the sin and punishes for it therefore I have forgiven my slave then he remains without a sin and for a while and then again commits another sin and he would say oh my lord I have committed a sin please forgive me Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says my slave has known that he had a lord who forgives the sin and punishes for it therefore I have forgiven my slave then he remained without a, without a sin for a while and he goes back to it again and says oh my lord I have committed a sin I have committed another sin please forgive me Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says my slave has known he has a lord who forgives the sin and punishes for it therefore I have forgiven my slave he can do whatever he likes subhanallah it's natural brothers and sisters that we sin no one is perfect no one is masoom even the prophet sometimes can make a little mistakes here and there because we're human Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't expect you never to commit a sin. He only requires you to ask for forgiveness and repent once you do so. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not tired of forgiving his slaves. He wants you to, to seek him when you have done something wrong. He wants you to trust that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only escape from, the, from you committing sins. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once said, by him in whose my, my life, I swear by the one who hold my life. If you were not to commit a sin, Allah will sweep you out of existence and will replace you with people who commit a sin and seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he would have pardoned them. And remember, brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mercy, is above any sin that you commit. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَرَحْمَتِي وَسَعَتْ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ but my mercy encompasses everything. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa